How's it going? This today is a video finally for really dedicated to the ladies. Yes, men, you can watch it or whatever. But essentially, I get this a lot and it's it's about, uh, I'm a single guy in New York City, so uh, a lot of girls ask for dating advice or what they should do with a the guy they're dating or most of the time it's just games and it really, to be honest, tease me off is that why do you why are you playing a game like you're attracted to someone why like the biggest thing is regret in life just say yeah no I'm attracted to you why you know let's go out let's date or not date or this is what I want this is what I don't want whatever just be honest but one of the biggest things are and I just made a video about men approaching women the three types or the three ways that men should approach women or the three types of ways to approach women and you can or look through it through the YouTube videos, uh, search for it, that's right around the title of it. But today's is more geared towards women. I get this a lot, is that with today's culture and women just going out and we're the exact same pretty much, you know, like uh, <laughs> women don't really need men to have a baby. They don't need for a job, for security, for housing, for food, for anything. So... Women now, and it's, I, I, I'm assuming so, I don't know, I'm not like on like Glamour or 17 or any of these women's blogs, but I'm assuming they're now saying it's fine to approach men. And a lot of girls have asked me like, how do you feel about women approaching you or, or talking to you, initiating contact and everything else? I'm completely fine with it because I'm very direct and honest. And I do the same thing. Like I, if I find someone attractive, I go up and I start talking. But the biggest thing is, it's not for every guy. Uh, and I see it a lot. And I'm friends with a lot of girls that go up and they approach guys. And, and the one rule I have to say to girls is be honest and just walk up and don't initiate contact and be like, oh, what are you drinking? Or who are you rooting for? Or whatever. Just be direct. And that's the hardest way. And the guy will be direct right back. Or at least he will rise to the occasion or not. That's the easiest way to find out if there's chemistry or no chemistry. Because there's no point in talking to a guy that there's no chemistry. So in other words, what I mean, you see a guy, you're at a bar, you're at a barbecue, you're at a house party or gallery opening or whatever. Doesn't matter. A wedding, who cares? You walk up and, and maybe a little bit different at a wedding. <laughs> But at a bar or rest, or not a restaurant, but like a bar or a club or whatever, walk up and just say, hey, listen, it could be for you or your friend. Hey, listen, my friend thinks you're really cute. She's right over there. Do you want to come and join us? Or if it's you, you go up and you say pretty much, I thought you were cute. I just want to come over and say hi. You have to be direct. You can't be indirect. The, and the, this is what I try and tell guys as well. Like I'm not like a dating coach, but like if guys ask me about it, is that you have to be direct. You have to like get right to the point. Like, is there chemistry or is there no chemistry? Is, is it like, is it going to work or not work? You know, like there's no point in like f trying to figure it out like halfway in, an hour in, the next day, the first date, the second date or whatever. It's just go in. These are my intentions. I thought you were cute. I wanted to come and talk to you. And that's the only way. For guys, if someone does this as a girl, because sometimes I'm taken off guard. I'm like, Oh, okay. And then you try and like put on this masculine per persona like, yeah, girls are coming up to me and talking to me. Yeah, how's it going? It's like, dude, no. Put your ego away. Put your, you know, she was the bold one. She was the courageous one. Yeah, and be honest right back. Be like, oh, I have a girlfriend or I'm interested or I'm out with my buddies and we'll, I'll come over and talk to you or talk to them in five minutes or whatever. Whatever the case is, just be honest back to them. Don't be inauthentic. Don't be this, this like pound your chest. Like this is, yeah, yeah, yeah. This happens all the time. Dude, shelve that. All right. Stop being the tough guy. All right. She was the one that initiated with the girls. Yes, it's fine. But the good thing is when you approach and you say, Hey, what's up? How's it going? Number one is be direct. Number two is calibrate to, and I love how I'm giving women advice. I'm just like thinking about it now. Um, but calibrate it to their reaction. And I know you're going to do it already because women are just way better at uh, social intuition and social and socializing and whatnot than most men. Pretty much all men. But 
micro calibrate. If you see, if, if you do actually like the guy because of the way he is and his aura and things like that, and you see that he's nervous, don't like launch yourself at him. Like micro calibrate, be like, oh, he's a little bit nervous, or I took him off guard, or he's out with a client, or he's out with his boss, or something like that. You don't know what the situation is, you don't know where he came from, or he just got fired, or whatever the case is. He could be a nervous wreck, he's about to go into a big board meeting or something. You have no idea. But micro calibrate if you actually are interested in getting to know them. If it was kind of one of those things that he just completely just turns you off immediately, he just like you know, whatever, I don't know, whatever turns you off, then be like, oh, okay, you know, just wanted to say hi, and if you want to come over and talk to us, that's awesome, I'm Michelle, or I'm Deborah, or whatever. So, number one is be direct, number two is micro-calibrate, number three is you let him lead right after that. You let him take the conversation, you let him say, okay, yeah, let's go over and sit down, or yeah, why don't you just stay with us for a little bit, I'm with my boss, or I'm with my dad or brother or sister or whatever you know come over and you know we'll have a drink and let's exchange numbers or whatever or you could just come up and say hey listen i don't know if you're interested or you want to talk or whatever but here's my number uh we should we should uh talk one time you know something like that that's very bold and direct and to the point and leave it to the guy if he wants to do it and or say if you really want to do it and go at it and say listen Here's my number, call me, don't text me. And then you talk on the phone and see if he's a real man. See if he actually will call. See if he's actually someone that you wanna go out with. And then you conversate over the phone. So I hope this helps a little bit. I know a lot of women have asked me and I've told them pretty much that same thing is that we're open to it, but most guys are taking it back because they want the male role of leading, taking a charge and initiating. But the problem is most men don't initiate contact. They don't initiate contact as in, they don't walk over and say hi. They don't walk over and say, hey, listen, I thought you were really cute. Wanted to come over and introduce myself. I'm Charles, blah, 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 and then take it from there. Most guys don't do that. That's the problem. So if you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comments below. I know this is from a male perspective and not from a female perspective, but that's actually better because then you hear and see what it's like from us. Um, and there's many times that... I should have actually initiated contact, uh, initiated contact or initiated conversation, whatever you want to say, and I didn't. And I wish that the girl did because I just, I don't know. I didn't work out, work, work out. I didn't work up the audacity, which is just such a bad cop-out answer. But anyway, if you have any questions, leave in the comments below. I'll probably do more videos if this is popular about what it's like from the male's perspective instead of uh, from the female perspective. So leave in the comments below, subscribe to the YouTube video, and I just had a reminder come up on my phone. Subscribe to the YouTube video, follow me on Instagram, and go to iCharles.com. You'll be getting a nice post every single morning. Have an awesome day. Talk to you soon.